Hey guys, it's Harley Moranen, and today I wanted to show you how you can recreate Wolf Bite, Owl City's new song from his album Ultraviolet EP. Now, this is not an exact replica, but it is a very, very close recreation to the lead synth he uses in Wolf Bite. Now, in Wolf Bite, his lead synth is kind of like a saw sound. I believe he made it on a Norda Wave, based on my research. And so, while experimenting in Pro Tools, I just randomly came across getting close to the sound. So, I wanted to share it with you guys. So, first off, we're going to create a new track. Oh, by the way, I'm only using plugins that are included in Pro Tools 11, so don't worry about having to buy things from Native Instruments, Isotope, other, those other brands. Don't worry, it's all in Pro Tools 11. So track, new, and create a stereo instrument track in ticks, create. For my purposes, I'm going to name it Wolf Bite Lead. Hit enter. And I'm going to enable it for recording. I actually have my MIDI keyboard hooked up to my computer. So first thing you're going to do is go to inserts, multi-channel plugin, instrument, vacuum, stereo, which should come with your Pro Tools 11 software. Okay, so here we go. This is what it looks like. And for beginners, you may think, wow, it's very daunting. Uh, it's very complicated, all these knobs, I don't know what to do. Don't worry, we won't be changing that much. But before we move on, this is what the factory sound um, is. Now, that's what it sounds like when you open it. For now, I'm, I'm going to record the melody that I hear in Wolf Bite, just so that I don't have to keep playing the piano. So, here we go. I'm going to turn off the metronome, and here we go. Now, obviously, this factory sound is not uh, what Wolf Bite really sounds like. Also, I'm just going to put this on loop so that I don't have to keep selecting it. <coughs> so, now, obviously, we're not going to be basing off our sound from this. So, what we are going to do is go to Preset, Lead, and then Transformer Lead. I based sound off this and this is what transformer lead sounds like oh sorry see obviously not really it's still not there but you can kind of get the feel that it's it's somewhat there but it is not close enough to be called the the wolf bite lead so what i'm going to do is i'm going to turn up the volume just for my sakes because i want to make it louder for me but, of course, it's your choice what volume you want to put it. I'm going to go to the low pass filter. You can see LPF, this area. Turn down the resonance to 50. I'm going to put up the second oscillator to about 20. I'm going to, for envelope 2, I'm going to turn up the release to about 88.7 and the envelope one release to 120. I'm gonna go into this, into this, uh, I forgot the name of this, the icon. Wrench, I believe. The wrench icon. And the glide, I'm gonna put it to held. I'm gonna turn it up just a little bit, maybe like 88.7. And this is what it sounds like now. Uh, let's see. That sounds even worse, so I'm actually just going to turn down the glide. There, I turned it down to 12.4. Turns out 80 was a bit too high. Be careful with glide because it's actually pretty sensitive. If Like 50 may be even too much, so I put it down to 12.4. Okay, so we're done with vacuum. Again, you could always come back and tinker around. Okay, next we're going to go get a new insert, multi-channel plugin, EQ. Get the 7-band EQ stereo. Now, I already made a preset um, here. So, I can't, I'm not going to read out all the numbers. So, what I want you to do is I want you to pause this video. Um, and then I want you to either write all these numbers down. 
or pause the video and go into Pro Tools and go open up EQ on whatever track, um, copy these numbers, and then save the preset for future use. The reason why I'm using EQ is just to make it, because it's easier for me to use EQ, and it helps me eliminate some frequencies that I don't like or too harsh, and bring up some frequencies that should be heard. So with the EQ, this is what it sounds like. Uh, let's see. So you can, there's a very slight difference, it's not it's like a huge difference, but you can hear the difference, basically. Okay, so now that we're done with EQ, you go back and get another insert, multi-channel plugin, dynamics, DYN3 compressor limiter stereo. Now for me, I also have another preset here, so it should be here. I want you to pause the video again, write this down, or go into Pro Tools and write your, and already make it. It was actually based off the Clean Limit preset, but then I changed it. So if you want to make it easier on yourself, press Clean Limit and just see the differences. Okay, you finished? Hello? Okay. So now we've got compression, this is what it sounds like. Now compression, what it does, it brings down the highs a little bit so that it's not too harsh and brings up some forgotten frequencies that should be heard. Kind of like EQ. <clears throat> so lastly, what we're going to do, which actually helped a lot, surprisingly, is add some reverb. So I'm going to get one more insert, multi-channel, reverb, non-linear reverb. Oh wait, nope, sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Just air reverb. Now what, I made another preset, wow. This is actually based off the basic small, then I pressed the medium chamber, and then I adjusted the room size and the mix. Now if we give this a list, um, I want you to, sorry, I want you to pause the video and copy down the settings, or you just, or just uh, go back into Pro Tools and make your preset. Okay, I'll put it there while you listen. Do you see how much that helped? Okay, I'm gonna play it on loop without reverb and then with reverb. Now with reverb, oops, sorry. Now I'm gonna play it with reverb. See, the reverb actually made a tremendous, tremendous difference. Without it, it wouldn't sound as good. Uh, and since it's there, it sounds even better. Now, also during the bridge, you can hear that lead synth do this melody. And um, here, I'll play it for you. You can see it's actually pretty close to the original. Wait, I'm gonna just turn down the second oscillator in vacuum. You can see it sounds really, really close to the original. So if you kind of wanna, if for those who love making covers of songs, then maybe this tutorial is good for you. If you wanna recreate Wolf Bite, maybe Adam will appreciate it. Let's hope so. Anyway, that's all it takes. It's pretty simple. Just copy those um, numbers I gave you. Just rewind the video if you didn't catch it. But I know the vacuum, uh, this one, this uh, plugin vacuum may be more difficult for some people. So just for vacuum, I will put the settings I changed down below in the description. Everything else, just go back to rewind the video, look at the other, look at the numbers for the reverb, compression, EQ. Okay, so that is all, and I hope you actually bought Ultraviolet, because I really encourage you to buy that album. It's one of my favorites, uh, or EP, one of my favorites that Adam made, and I really support him. Why don't you support him? 
And if you haven't heard of Owl City, go ahead and listen to him. He's actually pretty good. He's my favorite artist. So again, my name is Harley Moran, and I'll see you guys another time. Bye-bye.